Miss Nikki will be reading to the lion and the mouse. Illustrated by Joan Subirana. And the adaption by Doris Baylor. And the translation was Madelka Dominguez. In case you want to watch, we go through the other video of the one in Spanish. But in this one, it's going to be in English. Oh, look at, oh, look at that. Look at that happy mouse. What is he holding? Yeah, a big old banana. And he's going through the jungles, isn't he? Oh. Once upon a time, there was a happy little mouse who lived in a far away jungle. The mouse loved to run through the forest and play. He could climb, jump, and swim, and there was always plenty of fruit to nibble on when he was done. Yes, sirree. <gasps> Look at this picture. I see the lion. His big paws is on the tail of the mouse. What's going on? One day, the little mouse was playing hide and seek when a huge lion with very sharp teeth leaped out of the bushes and cornered him. Stepping on the mouse's tail, the lion roared, Who goes there in my jungle? Wow. Oh my goodness. The mouse's little nose quivered. The lion picked up the frightened mouse by his tail and took a, big, a better look. Well, well, well. A little mouse. The lion said. He opened up his mouth just as the mouse pleaded. But, 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 please don't eat me! And why not? The lion asked. You would make a delicious morning snack. The poor mouse's whiskers stood out straight with fright and he knew he had to quickly think of something clever to say. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Taking a deep breath, the mouth, mouse said, little friends can be big friends. If you let me go, I'll never forget it. One day I can repay you for your kindness. The lion was speechless. He had never seen such a brave mouse. He sure is. He sure is brave. Finally, the lion tossed his mane and said, set the mouse down. I'll spare you this time, the lion said. But I don't know how a tiny creature like you could ever be of help to me, the king of the jungle. Then the lion roared and ran away. Oh, my. Spoken like a king. So confident, ah, and pompous. Phew, said the mouse, leaning on a low branch. That was close. The mouse forgot all about the lion until a couple of days later. He was hanging upside down by his tail when he heard a familiar Roar! <gasps> Ooh, what's going on here? What is that? 
in front of the lion's face. <gasps> a group of hunters had trapped the mouse's friend in a large net. Squirming and howling, the lion clawed at the net in a rage. Let me go, the lion roared. The hunters ignored him and the lion could not escape. Ooh, ooh, he looks, what, how does he look? What is he feeling here? Oh, look at that frown. He looks like he's fretting and his paws are up. He's trying to get out, isn't he? His eyes are closed. Oh, the hunters hung the net from a tree and went in search of a wagon to carry off their lion. The lion needs my help, the mouse thought. And he stood up straight and called out, Mr. Lion, I'll save you. Oh, wow. Oh, is the mouse going to keep his word? Is he going to save the lion? That's what I'm thinking. <gasps> Jumping from branch to branch, the mouse hurried over as fast as he could. He chomped down on the net and, and sawed back and forth with his sharp teeth. <laughs> the mouse gnawed uh, through one rope and then another until he created a large enough hole for the lion to escape. Oh my goodness, what a hardworking mouse this is. Wow, he's so brave too. What if, what if he didn't work fast enough and what if the hunters came back sooner? Is the hunter going to come? Ooh, the very grateful lion. Ooh, did I skip a page? I did not. The very grateful lion saw that his kindness to the mouse had not been wasted. Turning on his paws to go, the lion said, I guess little friends can be great big friends. The mouse happily agreed. Yes, indeed. Oh my goodness, who would have thought a mouse and a lion becoming good friends. Oh, the end. Wow, let's talk more about the mouse. Wow, let's talk about his character. Wow, wasn't he so brave? Yes risking his life and jumping from branch to branch to gnaw at the net to save the lion's life. And he had to work so hard, super fast, and gnawing from one part of the net to the next to quickly get the lion out before the hunters came. And he did it. He made a large hole and the lion was able to come out free and safe. Yay, mouse! Yay! And I have to say, wasn't it so kind of the lion to let the mouse free? An act of kindness can go a long way.